Hey everyone, it's Bodyguard again. This one's not technically a tutorial, but I'm going to go over the frequently asked questions. I'm going to start with the ones that are actually on the server. These get ignored a lot. So first off, what is the difference between premium and freemium? To put it plainly, premium has no ads. So in freemium, you have to watch an ad to summon like the heroes or you know some of the newer features and stuff. In premium, it's just, you know, no ads. You're paying to not do ads, which, to be fair, you have two developers working on this solo. You know, it's just kind of fair. Either you pay them a one-time fee not to watch ads or watch the ads and give them a little bit of a trickle of money so they can, you know, get rewarded for their time updating the game. Second one is, how do I become testers? Well, you just get chosen. You don't really ask if you're active, you know, how cash gets to know you, you know, things like that, you know, they, they might pick you, you know, tap you and ask if you can test something, or if they can send you a test version, things like that. If you don't really ask about it, if you ask, you'll get told no. Will more features be added? You know, they're going to be added. They're not abandoning the game. Sometimes, like, we had that little bit of time when he was redoing the aspect ratio, but, you know, they will always be added. This one's a bit outdated. What happened to Trello 20? That is Pastor Trello now. He came, he took a little bit of a break for a while where he was, you know, working on his Twitch streaming, but he has come back to help out and he's been doing a lot of work there. How can I contribute to help developers? That one, you know, as it says, buy premium, watch ads, you know, those, those are the big ways to help. Share the game with friends, you know, things like that. The next one, this one isn't us. Don't tell people your age. If someone asks how old are you, just say nothing. Don't respond to it. If you say that you're underage, we have to ban you. It's not something we want to do, but Discord pushed... Discord has their terms of service, and unfortunately, they have also declared a while back that individual servers were required to follow up on their terms of service. So if you say you're underage and either we read it or someone tells us about it and we see it, we have to ban you. If not, if they report you to Discord and Discord decides to follow up and sees that we were aware of it and we didn't ban you, we, our server as a whole is subject to be deleted at that point. So to cover ourselves and keep the server up, we have to ban you if you say that you're 10 or whatever underaged age. Just in general, don't talk about people's age, don't ask their age, don't tell your age. Now, why do some channels have cooldown? It's to keep things regulated and give you some time in between posting. Now, we're going to get on to kind of my own little list of things. First off, my role. I am not Hall, I am not Trello, I am not one of the programmers. I am a moderator and someone who helps with little things like tutorials here and there. Sometimes I give ideas or I'm a sounding board, I sometimes do testing, but I want to make it very clear, I am not one of the developers. So if you come to me saying you want something, you know, you have an idea or anything, it's better to put in the suggestions. I don't really have any pool on that, I'm more of a helper. Uh, let's see, now for old maps. A lot of you have seen either, say, my older videos, like this one, and you can see, you know, entirely different everything. You know, different walls, different whole look. Now, that's an old map. That one was two years ago. In that case, we had cement walls, so this was a really old one. Other times, you might have seen something like on the store page, this map. This is another old one. You can see, you know, we don't have this building. You know, this whole map is entirely different. I have talked to Hall. You know, that's probably going to get updated in the future, but it is what it is. Those were old versions. A lot, a lot of maps have been lost to time. Some of them were lost in the early development. Some of these, a while back, there was a move to move to a smaller kind of like scaled down look 
Unfortunately, that broke all the maps at the time. Those maps were scrapped, such as the Wasteland, which was a popular one that keeps coming up. Unfortunately, you know, that moved to the scaled down version. People didn't, while it ran pretty decent, you know, it ran pretty good, had a lot of benefits. It did look kind of compressed. People didn't like the look, so everything got scaled back up, but those old maps were lost, unfortunately. So there are two different sets of maps right there that were that were implemented and then kind of scrapped. So this is technically like the third or fourth version of New Hudson. And unfortunately, the Wasteland one, there was no backup of it when everything scaled back up, so it's kind of lost the time. It might come back in a different way, but it's hard to say at this point. So again, you know, you'll see different versions and videos and different screenshots and stuff. Those were just old versions of the game. Now, even though I can't tell you to do it or not, use your best judgment, you can find old AP APKs to download for the old versions out there. I don't keep track of any myself. Again, use it at your own discretion. Use it at your own risk. So if you wanted to explore those, they, there are some options out there like that. Uh, next question, aircraft. There's a lot of people who want different aircraft and a lot of stuff aircraft-wise probably isn't going to happen. There might be some few things in the future, but like attack helicopters and stuff, it's been asked. I have, It's been on the server a few times with Hall saying no. He doesn't have any plans for them or anything like that, so that's a thing. New units, as you can see, new units are still coming. Even, you know, more lately, there's been some new stuff with the Raiders, like their ambulance, their Raider van. Next big one was PC version. Hall does plan to do a PC version in the future. We don't know when, don't know, you know, any details on that beyond, you know, he intends to do it. So, you know, that will be something in the future. It would be Steam, there would be no ads, you'd have to buy it. Next one was shareable maps and mods. There's not really much for mod support, especially in mobile games, so that's... While I think you would like to do it, there's just not a lot out there for mod support for mobile apps for a haul to use. As for shareable maps, kind of same thing. It's a little bit hard to... Even when he gets to the point like he wants where you can place anything you want in the game, it's a bit hard after that point to take that map and share it to someone else in, you know, the mobile game. As for bugs, there is a channel for bugs. If you go down to bug support under which game you're playing, you can do bug reporting. Just a thing to keep in mind, it's often a good idea to take a quick little screen, like a screen recording, to actually show how, you know, what's going on there. You know, like I do here, you can do a quick little screen recording to show the bug or something. It helps a lot with determining what was going on, especially if there's a something that you could do to recreate it. You know, go back, do like a 10 second, 20 second recording, and, you know, we can go from there. Uh, suggestions. That comes up a lot. Each ga game usually has a suggestions area, and Paul does read all of those. He does read your suggestions. He doesn't always post back in it, but he does read these. I do know he tends to like the short ones, you know, like a couple sentences long. The paragraph ones can be a bit tedious, but he does read these. He does look at which ones get responses, you know, like the check marks and stuff. So he does read these. You know, they all get considered. A lot of them, though, like, you know, the most recent one was something about bugs. It just doesn't fit the aesthetic for his game. You know, this is more occult, less, you know, alien-ish feel. But he does read these. And next, kind of media. This area is kind of a no-man's land. Uh, we do go through the stuff to make sure it's appropriate, or we try to, but... Again, you know, this area is, doesn't have to be really game-specific. There have been times that people have posted, like, screenshot stories. I know Hall likes to read those ones when he sees them. You know, he likes to see people playing his game, you know, see how they're playing it, things like that. 
So, you know, that's all allowed. But you can see, you know, there's kind of a ma kind of a randomness in there. So, yeah, that covers most of what I have here. If you have any other things, I can always do a part two to this. Just let me know. You know, if there's any, th any frequently asked questions you think I missed, and we'll go from there.